was little, my favorite show was Thomas the Tank Engine. I made sure to watch every episode. Even when I got older, the show still had a special place in my heart. When my nephew Spencer was born, I shared my love for Thomas with him. I gave him Thomas the Tank Engine based presents for every birthday and Christmas. I now understand how weird I was acting back then, and I would have kept this obsession up if not for one disturbing incident. It all started three years ago. Spencer's sixth birthday was approaching, and I was looking for a good gift for him. I should mention that I have a habit of buying gifts a month in advance. So, when it was time to buy Spencer's present, I had a great idea. Spencer hadn't watched a single episode of Thomas the Tank Engine. Not the original version, anyway. So, I figured a Thomas the Tank Engine DVD would be the best option. I went online and looked for a DVD. I found one on Craigslist that was being given away for free. All I had to do was send the guy my home address and he'll send it to me. I would never do this under normal circumstances. The last time I bought a DVD from Craigslist, it was a bootleg version of Aliens instead of the real thing. However, money was tight back then and I really wanted a DVD for Spencer. So, against my better judgment, I got the DVD. When it arrived on my doorstep, I was surprised by the poor packaging. It was wrapped in brown paper and tape. I guessed that the DVD was hand-delivered. I unwrapped the package and inspected the product. The box and cover looked legit. The disc also had an authentic cover instead of just a title written in Sharpie. All that was left to do was play the DVD. I turned on my desktop and popped the DVD into my disc player. Everything looked good, but then I checked the episode list. The DVD contained six episodes. The first five episodes were the first five of the series. The sixth episode, however, seemed unfamiliar to me. The episode was titled Edgar's Revenge. I was baffled. I've seen every episode of Thomas the Tank Engine, and I've never heard of Edgar's Revenge. Also, who's Edgar? I thought that I was scammed again. To be sure, I decided to watch the episode. I've heard of TV shows having lost episodes. Since SpongeBob SquarePants was pretty good, I figured why not? I will regret this decision for the rest of my life. The episode began with Thomas chatting with Percy. He was telling him about the coal he was going to deliver to a factory south of Sodor. When Percy heard this, he looked worried. He asked how Sir Topham Hatt could send another engine down that route. There was a railroad on the south side of Sodor that was believed to be haunted. Every time an engine went down those tracks, they'd be pushed off them by an unknown force. Unfortunately for Thomas, he had to go down those tracks. Apparently, Sir Topham Hatt was not superstitious. Every time an engine was found on its side next to the tracks, he'd say there was something wrong with the tracks. But every engine knew the truth. The episode then showed a flashback with the narrator telling the story. Years ago, there was an engine named Edgar. One day, he was assigned to bring logs to a shipping port south of Sodor. However, a storm was going to hit that area soon. Despite Edgar's concerns, Sir Topham Hatt made him go anyway. Edgar was going through a clearing when the storm hit. A bolt of lightning then hit him, electrocuting the engine. Edgar screamed in agony as his face began to melt. He then came to a stop and died on the tracks. It took several days for Edgar's body to be recovered. It's believed that Edgar's ghost was responsible for those accidents. 
Percy begged Thomas not to go down those tracks. But Thomas, being the diligent engine he was, went anyway. The next scene showed Thomas driving through a clearing. The sun was setting and the engine looked nervous. He was frantically looking around for Edgar's ghost. After a while, Thomas began to calm down. He was starting to think that the hauntings were just accidents when he saw something. A smoky mass was forming beside Thomas. The smoke then materialized into a train. Thomas looked at the engine in horror as he realized it was Edgar's ghost. His face was hideously deformed, and his eyes were completely white. Patches of paint were missing, and he was wailing in agony. Edgar started ramming against Thomas, his screams of pain switching to anger. Edgar then started yelling about how Sir Topham had killed him, and that he must pay for what he did. With one final blow, Thomas was knocked right off the tracks. Edgar sped off, laughing maniacally before disappearing. A few days later, a group of people retrieved Thomas and the coal. He was mumbling under his breath with pure terror on his face. I sat there in shock as the credits rolled. What bothered me the most was that it didn't look like a fake episode. I kid you not. Edgar's Revenge looked as if it was made by the same people that created the series. I looked up the episode's title on the internet. Unfortunately, I didn't find much information about the episode. I did, however, find something else. There was a news article dating back to the 1930s about a tragedy in the UK. A freight train was found in a clearing with its whole crew murdered. One of the crew members killed everyone before disappearing somewhere. The killer's name was Edgar. I'm still convinced that the episode was real. At least I now know what inspired that nightmare. I destroyed that wretched DVD and threw the remains in the trash. After that, I went to buy a DVD from a real store. I never told anyone about Edgar's revenge. I'm not sure if there are any more DVDs with that episode. If there are, I hope they never see the light of day.